Well, you could look at this pandemic as a balancing act. How do you keep people safe and healthy while also keeping the economy afloat? That was the theme of today's 2020 State of Our Community event hosted by the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce. The virtual event highlighted where the local economy was, where it's going and where it is. They addressed three main areas, equity and capital, economic recovery, and community health and education. And that third section is where we heard from Dr. Mandy Cohen. She's the secretary of the state health department, and she says she understands the burden closing parts of the economy has had on people. We know that this virus has been so hard. I should say that on the business community, and I want to recognize that um, none of the decisions the governor or I have had to make about how we have put restrictions on things have been easy. Um, we know Dr. Cohen spoke with Terry Aiken, the chief executive officer of Cone Health on the panel. She says the health system put our community in a strong place to respond and recover from COVID-19, but Aiken says you played a huge role. I just want to say on behalf of Cone Health, really, and, and our, our health care systems across the state, we appreciate all this community has done and continues to do. This has taken sacrifices, um, basic things like wearing masks, socially distancing, not going out away from home any more than you have to. Uh, this has all made a difference and will continue to make a difference. Finally, Guilford County School Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras touched on how the pandemic has highlighted inequity in education, especially when it comes to online learning. While 98% of students logged on to remote learning in the spring, Dr. Contreras says more than 2,000 did not log on at all and 5,000 only logged on for two weeks. She says access to technology is still a big issue in the district. It shouldn't surprise anyone uh, in this room or listening to us, watching us to learn that students of color are less likely to own a laptop, a iPad, a device to complete their schoolwork, have lower levels of internet quality, are more likely to access the internet through their cell phones rather than broadband. And stay tuned, coming up at 5 o'clock, hear what Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn had to say about the economic impact the pandemic has had on the city.